what's up YouTube. So as you see today, I will be doing something pretty cool. Uh, something I know a lot of people want to try, but it seems pretty scary to do. So I'm going to show you right here. Don't be afraid. Take this task on um, and let's dive right in. Well, there it is, guys. Those are the three I've done already. And keep in mind, this is my first time rapping, so it's not going to be perfect by any means. But, you know, I think it was a pretty good job that I did. Um, and honestly, shout out to the wrap itself. I picked this wrap up for 11 or 12 bucks, I think, off eBay for um, a 24 by 60 inch sheet, which is two 20 inch wheels, by the way. Um, so I'll go over sizing and things like that, too. But, you know, that's how it looks. Um, it came out pretty good. If you get up close, you can see like the really small, like there, like not so much that. Not that part, but like there, that's like the small imperfection on the rim. That's where I messed up on. But, you know, coming back out, hey, first time ever. Probably saved myself hundreds of dollars doing this. Spent 30 bucks on the wrap just because I wanted an extra big sheet to do some other stuff around here. And, um, yeah, so 40, 35 bucks in or so, and here we are. So here's the wheel here. So let's go ahead and dive into what you need to get this job done. Okay, guys, so this is all the equipment you're going to need right here. So this is a little um, X-Acto knife set I picked up from Harbor Freight for 16 bucks, guys. And let me tell you, this right here is the most important tool. The way these blades cut through wrap is you can't, you cannot go without this tool. I mean, you could use a, a like a, a pocket knife or a box cutter, but it, it's not going to cut the way this will. The blade is so thin, so sharp, it just cuts right through like butter. It's honestly pretty satisfying too. Um, so pick this set up here if you want to save yourself some money or head to any store that you can get to. Pick yourself up an X-Acto knife, um, something like this that has a good handle on it that's very narrow so you can get into curves and contours and things like that pretty easily. Next is a wrap pusher or whatever you want to call this thing. Just something to help you lay down the wrap a little bit easier. I don't use that much. I typically am going to be using my hands most of the time just because of the way the wheel curves on my setup, but something good to have still if you have a lot of flat surfaces so you can get a nice push out. And then here is the second most important piece. This is going to be your heat gun. You need to have something like this. Um, if you don't have a heat gun, Go ahead and, you know, grab a hair dryer. Anything that blows some hot air, you're going to need because if you don't have that, it's not going to allow you to stretch the wrap well. And it's just for bonding purposes as well. I picked this heat gun up from uh, Harbor Freight for, again, I want to say under 15 bucks. It was just so cheap. And it's been great. I've had it for a year now and it does what it's supposed to do. And I love it. Um, this is optional. This is going to be some sandpaper. Um, I'm using 180, I'd recommend 300 though. Something very fine, just in case you have some imperfections on your rim that you'd like to sand down real quick and um, wrap over. Then we got our rubber gloves here. Um, they do make wrapping gloves. Um, I'd recommend that, especially if you, know, you can get your hands on it before you start doing this. In my case, I'm just gonna be using just rubber gloves just to pre protect the wrap from dirt and stuff like that from my fingers, but... Um, Pick yourself up a set of wrapping gloves if you can to make it easier. And then here's some awesome. So I'm just going to be using the awesome to clean the wheels up, uh, dry them up. It's a degreaser, so it'll get the wheels pretty, um, not sticky, but kind of give that nice feel to where you know something can adhere to it really well. So you don't want to use anything that's going to leave any film on it. That's why I stayed away from um, some window cleaners do, you know, um, anything other than that, you know. Plus, this is safe in my paint, so it's not going to cause me any hassle with putting this on wiping it and then paint peeling so great product to use um but there it is there's your surplus of things you're going to need um so let's go ahead and jump right in to the process okay guys so the first step is we're going to take our awesome and we're just going to clean off our wheel so i'm just going to spray it all over here and i'm just going to wipe down i'm using a microfiber towel just so it dries a little bit better you know, it gets a lot of the moisture off. 
make sure you just get in there. I haven't rode on these yet for probably five, six months because these are my summer wheels and it's finally spring. And yeah, so I'm excited as heck to put these things on. You guys are going to get to witness that with me. But just clean them up. I'm just going to clean around this lip here. You really want to make sure the surface that you are wrapping is clean and dry. So some wraps will have uh, it to where you can, you know, I don't want to say some wraps. From all wraps, you can throw moisture underneath. But the, the wrap that we have here, um, I'm surprised, has a lot of uh, technology in it, <laughs> believe it or not. And it allows you to be able to wrap on a dry surface and get the minimal amount of air bubbles. So it's great for beginners. Um, it's not super high end. It's not anything that's going to run you a ton of money. So keep that in mind when you're doing things a little bit cheaper, um, you know, just try to save yourself some money. You know, you're going to have to deal with the, the problems that those might bring. I will admit, um, I thought it'd be a lot easier to do. It might be just because this wraps a little cheaper. It's just a little bit more tedious, but it is still great. It still looks great. It's still pretty easy to do. And um, I'll be honest, if you guys are wrapping, you know, a stock wheel setup and not something like this with a lot of curves and, you know, going down real hard, um, by all means, you guys will knock this out the park. I have tons of faith in you guys. Anybody can really get this done. It does require a lot of patience. It does require a lot of, you know, focus and just being careful. Don't allow yourself to get, you know, upset because it, it can make you mad, but remember, you, you just take your time. So now that we got the wheel cleaned up, um, there we go, it's all cleaned up. Make sure you get all the moisture out. Just look around and make sure you are ready to size up the wrap. So by that, I mean, we wanna get the wrap cut to our shape. So with this setup here, with it curving down, I'm lining the wrap up to the outside of this chrome lip and I'm cutting around. Okay, so before we peel anything, we're gonna cut around and you'll see why once we cut because it's going to be able to set up and then drop in properly. If I cut this right here, I would have to do so much stressing that I would, stretching that I would probably lose coloration. So giving myself extra slack up here allows it to drop down great and give me a little excess to where I can cut off and cut around. So let's go ahead and start sizing up, okay? I'm wrapping 20 inch wheels. So the reason um, I went with the 24 by 60 was it's 24 inches tall. So that's gonna be big enough to get my 20 inch wheel base and still give me enough to kind of work with and around. Um, and then 60 inches long, which gives me two wheels per sheet. And a good amount of excess too for small things if you want to wrap. But two wheels per sheet, and that's all I need. So I ended up buying three sheets just for the extra around the around the car. Have some fun with it. But you sized it up, right? Okay, so now that you sized it up, just put your pressure on it. Not too much though, and just kind of size around, and you can almost start to form a small lip on the wrap itself, so you can kind of get a better eyeballing of what you're cutting. Next, you just grab your X-Acto, okay? Hold it wherever it's comfortable for you, and I'm honest, guys, I'm not an artist at all. I don't draw, I don't do any of that. So this is just super great how satisfying and easy it is to cut. Just take your time, push in on the lip, and then just let it work its way across. And I can't stress this enough, you have to go slow. No matter how easy it is to cut, just take your time because it's so important that you cut the right amount in this part that you could just destroy the whole wrap if you don't. And again, this is the hardest part of it, guys. It's, it's coming up on the hardest part. This part here is pretty fun, pretty easy. Um, you know, also be really careful too while you're cutting. Like this blade is really sharp. Um, and you really want to just be so light with it because if you put too much pressure, you can start really honestly cutting the rubber on your wheel. So we don't want that at all. But again, just make sure you're cutting the right. Keep going around. 
keep going around, being very, very careful. And boom, you've made your circle. And look at that, guys, you did a great job. So there's a little bit over there that I didn't do, but you know that I missed, but that's okay. Um, again, just make sure you give yourself a little bit of slack. That's what you wanna do. So after that, you're gonna take your wrap And then you're gonna peel the first clear layer off. Okay, cleans it up a little bit. Okay, once you do that, just take one final look at your product and realize you're about to completely change this wheel. Once you do that, find your edge. Fill your wrap real gently, real slow. This stuff creases very easy, and if you crease it, you run yourself into some trouble. Okay, guys, here's the most challenging part. Just lay it over the same way you had it before. Make sure you know you're covering a good circumference. Okay, so this is the real tedious part. And this is where you're gonna want your, your hair dryer or your heat gun. Take your heat gun, work your way to the inside, and then back out again quickly. Not, not you know, super aggressive. You don't wanna put a lot of heat on this because that is just not good. If you stretch it too much, you begin to lose color and it just isn't good. So now you're there. You wanna get your gloves on now because this is when, if you're gonna be lifting stuff, you don't want to be getting debris into the underneath of the wrap. So I'm about to glove up. Okay, now that I'm gloved up, we put the heat gun, and as you put the heat gun, you'll see that it becomes to be a little more loose because the heat actually, you know, it's pretty cool. It makes this stuff stretch. So you just wanna work your way down and you want to work your way into where the air pockets are so just pushing down very carefully very patiently guys you don't rush this product uh, process i've been wrapping these wheels for probably i would say a good two and a half hours now and i'm fine i'm not upset because i took my time and they're coming out great and here's the last wheel so you guys are going to get to experience the beauty of having it all finished with me um, I like to work my way from the inside out, but the reason I'm doing this inside part first is because it'll give me a good base to work out on my spokes. So again, you want to just use that heat gun to allow it to kind of flex around the wheel. When you see it starting to flex around that wheel, stop because too much is too much and you will mess up your wrap. So just it's real, um, it's real tedious. Uh, I would almost say buy an extra roll just so you know you can, you can mess up one because you might and that's okay. It's very normal to not be perfect at something the first try. I mean, you know, I would think so. But get your practice on and now you see I'm working my way down, right? So I'm working my way down in very slow yet strong movements and I'm doing this around an even pattern just because it's such an aggressive drop that my wrap you know or that my, my rim does that I can crease it very easily and we don't want that we do not want that creases are no good okay so good job if you got this far and like I said, man, if you guys are doing rims that don't have a big dip like this, oh my gosh, super easy. So be proud that you're getting it done. Take your time, work your way around. Okay, and now once you guys are getting to the end, is when you can 
you know, just make sure, you know, when it gets to the point where it's gonna start creasing real bad, ease up, ease up, relax, grab your heat gun, let it get hot, go around, and that's it. Do not do a lot of heat, guys. But you see how much more malleable the wrap becomes when you when you do that, which is amazing. It's just truly amazing, and it's just such a satisfying thing, honestly. Work your way down, get all the edges pushed in. Just so you guys can see, work my way around. And it looks so crazy, right? It looks like, oh, how is this even gonna turn out good? Well, congratulations, you passed the hardest freaking part. This is the hardest part of wrapping these wheels, is getting those down, getting all your placement pushed down to where the wrap is gonna stay. Now is the cleanup, and when it starts looking even better. Okay, guys, so now you got your placement down, everything's looking good, you know, work your way around. If you do have air bubbles, lift up, lift it up, you know, push down. Just take your time, but you know, since you've got it all placed down now, you're gonna take your, your knife here and you're just gonna start cutting. So the great part about these X-Actos is it's so thin, they can slide right up next to the rim and just give a clean beat off. So just, you know, start your cutting. Show you here, you just push down, work your way down the bull rim. Turn around. Work your way around just so slightly. I mean, it requires no pressure at all, guys. And boom, first piece gone. And you can um, push the edges. If you got a little excess on there, take your blade and it'll, it'll shave it right off for you. And it's just such a clean, satisfying experience. Now this does take time. Uh, this is the most time consuming part of the wrap, I would say, because this is when all your, your perfectionism comes into play and you really have to make sure you're cutting perfect and it all looks to your liking and whatnot. But I'll admit guys, it's not that bad. It's pretty fun actually. But I can honestly say that the hard part is finished. This is pretty easy. If you got, you know, a relaxing chill vibe and not a super aggressive hand. You guys can get this done, no problem. So there it is. I mean, was it not nice watching those big parts get cut out? And just look how much better it already looks. It just really fits into place once you get it all cut out. Um, so it's pretty much the same concept. We're just going to go ahead and do these parts now. Um, another note, don't ever keep the hub cap on. It just is much easier to cut out and then, you know, wrap your hub cap separately or just keep your hub cap unwrapped and pop it right back in. So do the wheels without the hubcaps in them if you can. And um, yeah, so just go ahead and repeat the same process and let's cut all these little holes out and then we're just about done. You know, and if you're doing rims like these, again, you have these little parts in here that I'm just gonna push down and run my X-Acto blade on and cut off the little tabs. 
but still very simple guys and just about finished. Okay guys, I'm gonna use my heat gun here and just loosen this part up real quick. Get it hot. That's all I needed. Just makes it a little bit more malleable and you just go ahead and put in those final creases, push down and then you're just about set. So again, if you see in little dots like that, that's just the, um, those are chips from my rim. That's when sandpaper comes into play, but I'm not going extreme this round. So um, you're gonna see those. Uh, I'm pretty much going to just test this color out. I'm gonna run a test and see how long this wrap lasts. But it is good if you do plan on keeping these on for a while, cause I probably change up colors here um, next season or whatever. So sand down, make sure, feel around for any smoothness or any um, bumps because you want nothing but smoothness. But ignore those and let's get back to cutting. <music> guys hubcaps are in hubcaps are wrapped um you're good to go you know you did it so again go back and make sure you push on all your edges make sure everything's you know seated real nice but i love the look i mean 35 bucks i you can't beat it i'm so excited to mount these up guys i'm so excited um I appreciate you guys, you know, checking this video out. I hope it was very helpful, guys. I hope you learned great tips, and um, I hope you guys saved a ton of money. That's the whole point of this. So um, thanks so much for checking it out, guys. Enjoy some of these outdoor shots of these things on, and until the next video, peace.